even before this patch this season, I think a lot of people felt over time that she was improving. Mm -hmm. Agreed. And of course, she actually did get some buffs, like in the middle of last season too. It wasn't wasn't for nothing. That, although a lot of it was player development. Cool to see that kind of change. And then, yeah, she definitely got some big help when it comes to this season. Very, very cool to see. A lot of people are talking about her as among the strongest characters in the game. Yeah, yeah. And she's not an easy one to pick up. You know, you have to have put in your time previously, I think, to be strong with her at the moment. Yeah. We'll see how that continues, how that develops. And then on the other side, Idom continues to be playing with Mono. You know, she got, as you mentioned, a couple of buffs, okay. but not as much as some of the other characters did. Yeah. Some, you know, a couple new combo routes and and some extra plus frames and and not not as much yeah. as some of the other characters did. I think for her, the improved position is probably more to do with some of her bad matchup characters being slightly nerfed mm -hmm. with some of the system-wide changes being more accessible, wake up, drive reversal, that kind of stuff. More more about sort of game-wide changes that have led to her being in a little stronger position. As you mentioned, some of the Mono players have done well yeah, yeah. so far. Yeah, and I definitely agree that it feels like the system changes are the thing that's benefiting her more than any buff that she directly got. The wake-up drive reversal is a nice defensive option, but in addition to that, it's the uh, the longer parry time, right? Allowing for sure. punish counter command throws and different things like that when they whiff. Easier to take advantage of that. But yeah, man, uh, let's get into this match. Elder Goose versus Idom to kick off the winner semifinals. By the way, pretty cool outfit. They're both of them. And yeah. Both of them, yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the Manoa from previous season was already sick. True, this, true, true. This new one I really like for Aki as well. The, the new Aki, the new glasses. Got the bell bottoms on the bottom as well. Yeah. But right now, Idom, I mean, he, this dude, he just looked locked in in this tournament. I'll tell you what, even before this top eight, just on a rampage. At exactly the right spot already multiple times so far with jump roundhouse to start things off and then exactly the right spot for command grab and then for anti air three moments where Idom you can tell is on top of his game. Mm hmm. And Manon, I think when she's got a lead, she's a pretty annoying character to deal with, like trying to get in on her. She's got decent normals on the ground. I think her ground game's a little underrated. Ooh. Could have been big pressure. Oh, there's DI in response to that. That was pretty smart, obviously, because even if Elder Goose recovered in time to DI back, he didn't have the health to survive. Yeah. Classic round ending idea used well by Adon. Oh, just barely and survived that with punish. Now that he's had a big jump in into immediate pressure, you can tell Elder Goose is a little bit more hesitant about throwing fireballs. Yeah. And that's what happens, right? He who hesitates is lost. That is an old saying for a reason, as Adon, you know, I think put him on life support, if I'm not mistaken. Interesting that he went fully in on this. Yeah. He's no resources left. And this is a character he's playing against. Wow, well, actually, it did almost kill. If. Aki gets pressure against burned out opponent. She is one of the scariest in the game. Exactly. Extremely strong against burnout. Not going to happen, though. Man, and that super, I don't know if it's one of the longer supers in the game for Manon, but that felt like she got a lot of her burnout meter back. Here we go. Already 1-0 for Idom, though. You can see on the ground. And as you mentioned, the jump-ins, right? It really puts a hesitation on your type of zoning. You committing to Serpent Lashes or Nightshades. And uh, because of that, Idom just gets so far in on the ground. And even a punish counter on the driver reversal attempt. So that's Dan Fierce. The plus Ooh. frames there. The, the extra combo routes available now as a result of that. And are <laughs> already we're in like, the same position, but on the other side of the screen with Idom having corner control. Nah, I have solid defense right there. Just throw taking up, just taking the jump in. Ooh, actually interrupts the cool fade and combos off the force knockdown juggle point. Ridiculous awareness. This is what we talked about, though, right? The investment of these characters. They're going to be paying off even more now. And that cruel fate, not plus, but it is safe. Idom takes advantage of it with a command grab. <laughs> he just he kisses right constantly. What do you say about Idom? Yeah, when that happens, and look at this now, the five metal command grab. Give me half your remaining life bar. Oh, what you going to do? Good defense from Elder Goose, honestly, after eating that command grab. Super important. Without that, it would have been dead already. Oh, and again, the force knocked out juggle point. Nice conversion there for some big damage. Scale prevents the kill, of course. Who tried the check, but it's tough. That jab from Aki is pretty potent. Okay. So gonna cash out pretty early here. Into oh. potentially a ton of damage, by the way, and great Oki if she wants. Yeah, exactly. It was Elder Goose actually gonna go with a knockdown here. Safe jump. Oh, oh that was sick to kill! Bait should out be to kill for first. So oh yeah. Oh. No! Oh, no! Surely could have. Okay, 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 we survived, we survived. But yeah, absolutely, if Elder Goose cleans the execution right there, 100% death, and that is the biggest punish on drive reversal, right? Where you can actually neutral jump in and you don't have to go with like a six frame starter. 
I love the little back crawl. That's, yeah, that one right there. That's so tricky. It used Dude. to be that you could just see it and you were like, well, you're coming at me. All right. Yeah. The now you don't know. The light snake step moving back, that's definitely one of her best changes. Really cool. It is very visually deceptive. Ooh, interrupt again there. As you can see, Idol was really trying to push his advantage in the corner. Time to take the turn. Oh. And Elder goes out of the jump and win with the big plus frame button, but that's also a long startup button, right? It catches people's fuzzy defensive timings. Good stuff from Elder Goose right there, cashing out the level three. Nice. Into patience. Oh, pressing the issue a little bit. Oh, the cool thing. That's so good, too. Yeah. Just like vacuuming you in on the air to air. Is this gonna get oh, oh, I was, I was curious. Yeah, I was curious how that would work. Oh, I tried the light <laughs> snake. Oh, step. it all melts so quickly. Oh, no, bro. The light <laughs> snake step not getting far enough away. Item. Capitalizing off of that, you give this man an inch. He's taking the full field. Really could have been one to one. And instead, Idom with the perfect defensive call into excellent offense. Something about making those reads is just right a lot. Hard, it's <laughs> hard to win, yeah, definitionally, know. if you can't guess right. And if you can't guess right, I mean, it's, you're going to get that W. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it comes down to that. It's like yeah. the most oh. vapid of analysis, but it's like, that's true. A hundred percent. Like, there's uh, so many fighting game sets that just come down to this person was right. Even at, like, DreamHack Summer, I felt like that was a lot of Bon Chan's victories. Oh, yeah. Like, he was just right, right in a lot. every situation. I'm like, well... You guys tried. That was tricky right there by Goose, though. Yeah, it was, it was the Drive Rush DI. Again, I didn't see the Drive Rush beforehand. Uh -huh, yep, that, yeah, it's a nice little parry bait, right? He would try to tap parry in response to that. Nice single hit into the super as well. That is really good, though. The, needs to put up the wall a little bit here. Is, could be in trouble if Item gets in, yes. Uh, yeah, exactly. And that's I feel like the first time Item busted that out in this set. He just knows when to go about it. Nice. Perfect jump moment. Oh, no. Oh. Too close. Idom will get what he can. Okay, driver reversal is successful, at least this time. Nice shape pulse into the OD snake step, but it don't matter. Busts out the break dance fighting low again. Nice and, point just like that for Idom. And real good job of avoiding that from Idom, right? The nice shape pulse into the OD snake step cancel is a buff from this patch as well, so she kind of applies pressure really quickly after the nightshade if she chooses to. Mm -hmm. A little bit out of it for Idom here. Yeah, he tried to keep pressing, or Elder Goose tried to keep taking his turn, I should say. Oh, nice backdash right there. Getting out of space, getting the, the whiff punishment. Yeah, left him there on the table. Yeah. Into big pressure. Ooh, okay, that's going to put him close to close burnout. Close to burnout. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Cool yeah, now it's a plus. The burnout in the classic whiff throw, plus two setup. Elder Goose all the way to victory. So even though it's still match point item, I've liked a lot of what Elder Goose has done. Yeah, especially in this game. He's been able to control the pace a little bit more, not just get into this scramble game with item where he's so good and always so right. Yeah, it's, yeah we saw the command grab come after the negative frame core fate last time. So he jumps out of it, but item still capitalizing with a super. Mm -hmm. Into pressure. Denied right away. Get off me. We'll pop off with our own reversal essay. Mm. Yeah, I don't. Prepared. Punish counter means burnout. Oh. Yeah, indeed. That's Is there anything here? Elder Goose using the super. Didn't want to get bullied into a situation, but you got to get out of the corner now, fam. Or try to put oh, up a wall. Whoa, what? Idom was ready? That was so smart. Idom just ready in general. What can you say? Ready on offense, ready on defense, ready on anti air. And from yeah. the beginning of yeah. that set, it was like that with his round opening jump roundhouse into big pressure. Getting the command grab in that first round right after that, backing off and getting the anti-air in that first round after that. That was all like one set of sequences, and it really set the tone for how things went. And I really love the fact that you brought up, maybe you should just put up the wall at the end right there, right? Put up the nightshade pulse, harass with the serpent lash, because usually what players tend to go towards first is getting out of the corner. And that's exactly why Idom stood where he stood. He was like, you got a plethora of ways to do that, whether it be jump, whether it be cruel fate, like we saw from that range, that gives him so much time to properly react with an anti-air, locked him up in the corner. And I mean, that space control was just perfect to end the set. This game, though, it actually could have been a pretty different story, as Elder Goose had some great situations for himself in this game number two. Uh, there was a chance for him to get the, the victory, or at least in rounds, and uh, you know, you saw how it went. Yeah. It wasn't quite what he needed in some of these instances. 
Yeah, that, that was a driver reversal bear right here. This would have been the kill combo. Drops yeah. it towards the end. Ends up working out in this round. Indeed. But uh, in the second or third round, I should say, of this game, different story. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Beginning of comeback here by Idom. Super tough, super tough. That was a clean whiff punish into the single hit super. He was locked out of the drive meter, right? So might as well go for something like that to get some damage in early. Her combos are so sick, too. Again, I liked a lot of what Elder Goose did. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like already he, had made it past the buzz and Space Boy and no prop Tays. You mentioned Ehi, small caps. It's already been a strong day, but 